Drawing with your finger on a smartphone is one of the easiest and most affordable ways to get into digital art, but the one thing that's holding you back the most is your finger. Your finger cannot support pen pressure, so if you press harder with your finger, it's not going to make your line thicker, or if you press lighter, it's not going to make it thinner. That's one of the advantages to working with a drawing tablet, is the drawing experience feels a lot more natural than it does to draw on a phone. The next step up would be to buy a drawing tablet, but then if you want to draw on a drawing tablet, you need to buy a computer if you don't already have one. Wouldn't it be great if you could draw using pen pressure on your phone? Now there are some phones that do come with pens that do support pen pressure, but those are kind of more like tablet style phones. Most phones do not allow you to draw with a pen on the screen and get pen pressure like you would on a tablet. But recently we've started to see that tablets can connect to a smartphone and you can draw with your drawing tablet directly onto your phone. Now your phone has to be compatible and you have to have a compatible drawing tablet, but it does work. If you're new to this channel, I'm Aaron Rutten, and it is my mission to help artists like you enjoy digital art and learn some new skills along the way. Today I'm going to be discussing Wacom Intuos Android, and that allows you to draw using the Wacom Intuos on a compatible Android device. I'll show you everything you need to get it working, I'll set it all up, and I'll do some demo drawing, and I'll end with a conclusion that gives an overview of what I think of Intuos Android. Quick disclaimer, this is not a sponsored video, but Wacom did send me the Wacom Intuos for review purposes. As always, all opinions in this video are my own. To make this work, you're going to need three things. An Android smartphone that is compatible with Intuos Android. There's a list of those devices on Wacom's website. This is an ever-growing list that they'll be adding to. And even if your device isn't on that list, it might work anyways. I'm using the Samsung Galaxy S7, which is not a compatible device, but the Samsung Galaxy S10 is on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it anyways to see if it works. The second thing that you'll need is an OTG adapter. And this will allow you to plug a USB device into your phone. Now, my phone came with this OTG adapter. It's a Samsung brand OTG adapter. It has USB on one end and micro USB on the other. There's a list of compatible OTG adapters on Wacom's website. I'll also link you to some in the description of this video. And the third thing that you'll need is the Wacom Intuos. Intuos Android only works with specific models of the Wacom Intuos. This is the newest model. You will need to update the firmware for the Wacom Intuos. So if you happen to be one of those people who bought this to draw on a smartphone because you don't have a computer, you're going to need to borrow somebody's computer in order to upgrade the firmware. That's pretty easy to do. You can just install the Wacom drivers for the Intuos on that computer and then go into your Wacom desktop center and look under firmware update. Once the firmware is updated, that's saved onto the tablet itself so you won't have to do it again later. So setting this up is actually pretty easy. All you need to do is just take your OTG adapter and plug it into your phone. And my phone uses micro USB, so I'm plugging the micro USB end into my phone. Your phone might be using USB-C, so just keep that in mind when you're choosing an adapter. But now I can essentially just plug a USB device into my phone. Now not any USB device is going to work, it has to be compatible with the phone. And once you've updated your firmware, the most recent Wacom Intuos is. Next you'll want to plug the USB cable into your Wacom Intuos and then plug the USB cable into the OTG adapter. Just be careful because this could be a little bit fragile. And now, assuming your phone is compatible, you'll be able to use your drawing tablet on your phone. If I draw on the left side of my drawing tablet, I'm able to navigate through my phone and swipe pages around. And if I go into an art application where I'd normally be able to draw with my finger, I can now draw on my tablet and that line will appear on my phone. So this is pretty cool. It's essentially like you're drawing on a computer with a monitor, only it's a smartphone. Your tablet is going to draw power from your phone, but you can't charge your phone while you're using your tablet. This is just something to keep in mind. Now you are limited to drawing only on the left side of the Wacom Intuos. There's a vertical area that matches the proportions of your phone. If you don't like working in a vertical orientation, you can also turn your phone and your tablet to get a horizontal orientation. Now there's kind of two different ways you could do this. You could have your phone in upright orientation, but very carefully put it on its side without rotating the screen and you can turn your Intuos on its side, or you can keep your Intuos upright and rotate your phone screen to horizontal, but then you're limited to only drawing on the left side of the phone screen. Now at first I tried Intuos Android on my Samsung Galaxy S7 because I figured the S7 would be compatible if the S10 is, and it is. I can draw on my Samsung Galaxy S7, but there's no mouse cursor, and that makes it incredibly difficult to draw. I imagine there's probably a lot of phones that do support the Intuos Android, but don't support a mouse cursor. 
but I didn't give up there. I busted out an even older phone thinking, eh, it's probably not gonna work, but I might as well try just to know for peace of mind. And my LG G2 has a mouse cursor. So yay, I can draw on my smartphone. It makes a huge difference having a mouse cursor. I would say it's absolutely essential. So this is really cool. It gives you the essentials you need to make digital art without having to invest in a computer and a whole bunch of other hardware. You might even be able to find a free drawing app, and so all you really need is the Intuos and your smartphone. If you're looking for some art applications to paint with, my favorite is Infinite Painter, but there's also Ibis Paint and Autodesk Sketchbook. Now, performance is going to vary a lot depending on the phone you're using and the application you're painting in. There is noticeable lag when you're painting, but it's nothing that you couldn't get used to after working with it for some time. And the pen pressure response is pretty decent. The Wacom Intuos has over 4,000 pressure levels, but the application you're painting in might not be able to support all those pressure levels. There isn't a control panel to be able to calibrate your pen pressure, so you're kind of stuck with whatever you get. And now for my conclusion. So what do I think of Intuos Android? I think it's a nice step between the artist who's gonna start out drawing on their phone with their finger and the artist who's going to draw on a drawing tablet on a computer. It's a pretty decent investment to buy a computer to bridge that gap. And so this kind of gives you the option of maybe testing the waters or maybe taking an intermediate step toward getting that computer by allowing you to buy just a drawing tablet and then draw on your phone. Now, of course, this also works with tablets that are a little bit bigger. You could draw on a tablet as well, and then that's almost as good as drawing on a computer with a monitor. Now, there are going to be some limitations. The phone isn't as powerful as a desktop or laptop would be. You probably can't do quite as much as you could do with a desktop or laptop computer. You're not going to be able to customize it very much. And in the case of Intuos Android, you can't do things like remap the active area of the tablet somewhere else or calibrate the pen pressure. That doesn't mean that this won't happen in the future. And as more people begin to draw with drawing tablets on phones, they might begin to add more features to these applications and make drawing with a tablet on a phone more robust. So there you go. If you like drawing on a mobile phone and you want some of the benefits of drawing with a drawing tablet, you can now check out Intuos Android. If you'd like some more videos about digital art gadgets and some digital art tutorials, check out what else I have to offer on my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.